If you want to bring your story to life and make it more of an experience, it's vital that you use character dialogue. This is when you repeat the phrases and words that people said within a conversation rather than reporting on what was said. A quick example of reporting is when I first met my client, Patty, she looked very upset and she explained to me that she had to give a speech. That's narration and that's boring. Compare that to, I was standing talking to a colleague when a woman named Patty walked up to me. She said, Michael, I understand you can help me. I've got this big speech to give and it is driving me nuts. I am not sleeping well. I'm so stressed out about this. I said, Patty, I'm kind of confused to hear that. I've heard you speak in these meetings. You're always very confident. See the difference? Dialogue. You'll also notice that to introduce both of us, I started with she said, and then I said. One of the situations I see with people when they are introduced to dialogue is often they turn it into a stage play. And they'll just do both characters' dialogues with no breaks or explanation of who said what or the change in emotion or anything. So we want the balance of narration to set up the dialogue. It should mostly be dialogue when you're recreating a conversation, but don't be afraid to break with an occasional he said or she looked at me like she was thinking. Those can create a nice balance, but you want to use character dialogue to bring your stories to life.